exercise 11 prove that if x y are positive then 1 over x plus y is less than or equal to 1 over 4 x plus 1 over 4 y uh, remember am hm inequality uh, for two terms here we have two terms a plus b over 2 this is arithmetic mean and that is greater than or equal to 2 times uh, 2 divided by 1 over a plus 1 over b so arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to harmonic mean so if you consider this 1 over 4x and 1 over 4y as the term so 1 over 4x plus 1 over 4y is equal to 1 over 4 times 1 over x plus 1 over y if you apply here am hm inequality all that is greater than or equal to 1 over 4 times uh, 2 divided by 1 over 1 over x plus 1 over 1 over y all that is equal to uh, x plus y so here we have uh, 2 and 4 cancel each other so we have 1 over Two x plus two y. Oh, let me write here. One over two x plus two y. No, oh, sorry, I should have here two because we have two terms divided by two. So if I take this 2 to the other side, so I must have here uh, that 2. So I will have 1 over 4 times 1 over x plus 1 over y is greater than 1 over 4 times 4 over x plus y. So 4 cancel each other, so we have 1 over x plus y. So we used arithmetic mean harmonic mean inequality arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to harmonic mean let's continue with exercise 12 let ABC be greater than or equal to 0 and a plus b plus c is less than or equal to 3 prove that a over 1 over 1 plus a squared plus b over 1 plus b squared plus c over 1 plus c squared is less than or equal to 3 over 2 and that is less than or equal to 1 over 1 plus a 1 over 1 plus b 1 over 1 plus c so this inequality has two parts the first part is to prove that a over 1 plus a squared all this uh, cyclic sum plus c over 1 over c squared that is less than or equal to 3 over 2 well I know that 1 plus a squared is greater than or equal to 2a by m gm inequality or you can see that this is if you transpose this 2a to the other side it is a minus 1 perfect squared it's definitely non-negative so I can change this so this is less than or equal to a over so I change 1 plus a squared by 2a since uh, the denominator decreases the value of the fraction increases so 2a do the same thing for the other so b over 2b c over 2c well that is 1 over 2 the first one second 1 over 2 so this is 3 over 2 so the first one the first part easily done the second one 1 over 1 plus a 1 over 1 plus b plus 1 over 1 plus c well if you apply am hm inequality here arithmetic mean is greater than harmonic mean 
now we have three terms I should normally divide by three but since I don't have three I'm raising this remember harmonic means so I will have here nine and here we will have sum of denominators one plus a one plus b one plus c well that is equal to nine over one plus three plus a plus b plus c a plus b plus c since it is given that a plus b plus c is less than or equal to three i can change this by that one which is 3 over 2 remember it's the same trick if the value of denominators increases the value of the fraction decreases and vice versa here a plus b plus c is less than 3 less than or equal to 3 so I change this with that one so the value of the fraction increases Sorry, here I have the other way around. Here. The value of the fraction decreases because a plus b plus c is less than 3. So I change a plus b plus c by 3. So the value of the fraction here is less than the value of this fraction, the previous one. Well, exercise 13 is pretty simple directly. Uh, AMGM inequality, but if we separate here, as you see, we have x to the power of 4, y to the power of 4. Uh, we can apply this, but since we are not given positivity, uh, it's better to work with perfect squares. Or we can separate the cases if uh, x and y are positive. If here they are not positive, automatically the left hand side x to the power of 4, y to the power of 4, they are positive, definitely non negative, plus 8. So the right hand side is positive if they are not, if x, y aren't positive. Don't worry because uh, here x times y, one of them, if one just one of them negative, so it becomes negative. So right hand side is positive, but left hand side is negative. So the equal inequality is already correct. So let me consider this case if x and y are positive. So we can directly apply am. GM inequality just separate this x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 uh, plus 4 plus 4 well this is greater than or equal to if you see this here that is greater than or equal to 2 square root of 4 x to the power of 4 and the other one these two y to the power of 4 plus 4 is greater than or equal to 2 times square root of y to the power of 4 uh, times 4 well that is 4 x squared plus 4 y squared if you apply uh, am gm inequality for these again so it is 4 times 2 square root of x squared y squared that is x y or absolute value of x y which is greater than x y so it is 8 x y